Hey guys, uh, I'm Ash from Training and Inspection Services and we provide self-paced e-learning courses on um, nine areas uh, for API individual certification program. These are preparatory course in API 510, 570, 571, uh, 577, 580, 653, API 1169, Pipeline Construction Inspector, API Scythe Source Inspector, Fixed Equipment and Rotating Equipment. Uh, for each packet, uh, exam we have two packages for you as you can see here today we are going to talk about api 1169 pipeline construction inspector uh, the full course is the detailed explanation covers the publication effectivity sheet and body of knowledge whereas the mock exam package uh, only uh, presents the flashcards and the mock exam questions Okay, let's go and have a tour of the API 1169 Pipeline Construction Inspector. If you go to Curriculum, you can see what this course has. It has a basic facts, exam tips, time management, registration, and, and a benchmark quiz that we are going to solve today, and it's available to all for free. A body of knowledge and exam tips explanatory pictures at the A to Z of pipeline construction phases, INGA, Interstate Natural Gas Association of America, the definitions, uh, CGA, Common Ground Alliance Best Practices, and the Practical Guide for Pipeline Construction Inspectors. This you can download from API ICP website. So it shows the detail of clearing, stockpiling, bending, welding, coating, leveling, backfilling, cathodic protection, hydrostatic testing and restoration and practically uh, gives a detailed explanation of all the phases of pipeline construction and uh, the all important API 1169 pipeline construction inspection, uh, pipeline welding 1104, uh, safety in welding, pipeline pressure testing, API 1110, CSS9, pressure testing safety, liquid and gas pipeline, ASME B31.4 and B31.8. Although API has noted that you don't need to read this because uh, most of the information that you need at the pipeline construction inspector is already in other uh, documents. Um, ISO 9000 QMS, the vocabulary. We have explained the vocabulary in conjunction with pipeline construction inspection, so you have a feeling of all these uh, quality assurance terms. API Q1 is also, you need to study the sections 3, 4, and 5. Um, and the highlights would be in flashcards, 7 sets, and the 12 US HSC and practical, 4 practical guides we have highlighted the potential exam question so that you need to use uh, during the open book part of the exam and we have also provided three sets of mock exam timed like API so let's see what you get in return for this course five hours of video seven flashcards 23 lessons 300 questions um, if uh, you don't pass the, we didn't have any fail candidates so far but if you don't pass, you have two options with us. You can request for to renew your access for another four months, or you can ask for a full refund. No question asked. Um, this has a 120 days, 24 seven course access and online support. And here on overview, you can see the explanation of what you should expect from each module. You can look at the course content that we just went through. And there is a mock exam package, as I said, 300 mock exam questions, one extensive pictorial module for pipeline construction, and 12 US HSC documents highlighted, seven sets of flashcards, and one hour of introductory video. Okay, let's go and solve some of the free quiz that we have for you. As you can see, we have. Uh, set this question according to API uh, uh, examination environment. You have a flag that you can flag it off, it turned red, so you can come back to this later. 
and you can also see answer here which is not obviously in API and we have put the progress here but mock exam are all timed um, according to API exam. Question 1. All of the following are the monitoring and reporting duty of pipeline inspector except contractor's method of working. Now how they work is up to them. You are going, you are there as the main contractor or client's representative and you need to check that uh, you are complying with what they claim against like the procedure standards and the contract. So you are involved with the pipeline construction, all aspects, you are involved with contract and agreement. You are also involved with monitoring safety and health and environmental as aspect and have the power to stop the job if they have been jeopardized. Um, but how they work is up to them. You are checking the end result as a pipeline construction inspector. WPS qualification NDT acceptance criteria is brought in API 1104, buildings of pipeline. Pressure testing procedure of pipeline is according to API 1110. Crossing company is the one to install, operate and maintain a new pipeline who needs owner's approval of his crossing plan when he reached within 50 feet of existing facility. Owner's representative shall be present when crossing company is ex excavating within 25 feet of existing facility because these are the safeguards that the best practice put in. Due diligence corridor is a survey corridor plus 50 feet on each side. You can excavate up to 25 feet from existing facility with motorized equipment. After that, Beyond the 25 feet, you should be careful when excavating any closer. Excavation tolerance zone is 24 inch from existing facility. This means getting any closer to existing facility should be by non-mechanized equipment. The closest distance between existing facility and new pipeline shall be minimum 12 inch. Crossing angle of new pipe should uh, cross the existing pipe at uh, 90 degree ideally, but not less than 45 degree, because it should it should not be so much in close proximity of other pipeline because of if, if any leak or danger or explosion happens, it does not affect this one. Of the, we are reducing the risk here. The new pipeline burial depth shall be minimum 36 inch. What a plant or plot of land should show any existing buried facilities on right of way. Purpose of above ground markers is to identify underground facilities. Above ground markers are developed during the design process and include the following except uh, owner's number. So there you should have the company name type of facility and the emergency contact uh, uh, where to contact so these are the, all the important information that you need in case of emergency uh, pre-bid conference provides a forum for contractor owner and other interested parties to discuss all of the following except so you in, during the pre-bid um, conference you discuss the project and record uh, the binding changes or clarification to the scope of project. You review contract documents, you review rec regulatory requirements, schedules, but you don't discuss the cost because uh, the cost has already been submitted and accepted and that's why the contractor is there to for a pre-purchase or pre-bid conference. Facility owner operator need only belong to a single one call center. The color code for gas oil is yellow. The corridor marker indicates the width of the facility. Before excavation, the excavator calls the call center at least two working days. When excavation site cannot be clearly and adequately identified on the location ticket, the excavator designates the route 
and your area to be excavated using white pre-marking. So this means the, the white means you, you could not really identify exactly, just as a warning. So here you can click this and view the results, but because we have flagged up one question, it says you have flagged up, do you want to go back there or you want to continue to see the results, say OK, and you'll see the result now. So it will tell you how many points you scored out of, so we scored 19 points out of 20. So these are our answer and these are the correct answer. Our answer is in blue and the correct answer in green. Uh, as you can see, we made one mistake here, uh, which is actually 12 inch. So I made by mistake, uh, intentionally made this 12 feet, actually it's 12 inch, the closest distance between existing facility a new pipeline so it will show where you made the mistake you can also uh, study our first module for free please visit our website inspectortraining.com thank you